So yeah, a lot of people are really confused in my last vlog because I was talking about the kids and a lot of people were speculating saying does she have goats or does she actually have kids? Well, yes and no. Basically Danny has three biological kids from his previous marriage. We're not actually married, we just sort of, you know, live together and we've been together for a long time now. But he does have three kids from a previous marriage so when I talk about the kids, there's three little kids that we actually have living with us for some of the time so during those times you'll never see them because I want to keep them off of my social media like social media is just not the place for them I'm not willing to put them out there I don't want to share them they're just for us so if you ever hear me referring to the kids that's because Danny is a father of three so just to clarify that <laughs> I'm still filming I have like a dry ear at the moment okay Hey guys, um, it's the 10th of March and today I'm going to be unboxing my newest pet leech. He just arrived just a couple of minutes ago. Um, I was actually hoping to unbox him yesterday because he was actually due to arrive yesterday but I think because of the storms in the northeast things took an extra day. Hopefully he's okay in there. Um, luckily leeches do in fact enjoy the cold so it, it won't have done him too much harm I hope uh, being in transit for two days rather than one. Um, but yeah I haven't opened it yet. I've only removed like my address and things. Ow! <laughs> I just hurt my elbow. So although most of my videos usually have like a nice sort of white background, this one's kind of crummy because it's just like a lot of clutter at one side of the room where we keep our books and things. Um, I, I do apologize. I just didn't want to make this little guy um, just stay in a box for any longer than he needed to be. I know today's uh, lighting and background is a lot more of like a, a, a darker affair than what my usual videos are, um, but you know, at least it's not a creature feature. I like the creature features to be really like bright and uplifting. This this is just an unboxing, so it's just, it's got to do. Do you guys like my earrings? Um, I think they're pretty cool. Let me take one off and show you guys. Isn't it cool? It's the skeleton of a snake and um, I saw them on Etsy. Um, I will insert the um, Etsy store right here just to give them some credit. Um, but yeah, I'm not sponsored to shout them out. I just went on a bit of like a scientific jewelry splurge the other day and um, these arrived first so I thought I'd wear them today. I hope you guys like them and I hope the Etsy seller manages to get some, uh, some custom from it because they're cool earrings. I like them. I think they're really quirky and fun. Quirky and fun, quirky and fun It's absolutely fine to be quirky and fun No, I'll never be sexy, I'll never be cool But I'm quirky and fun That <laughs> So yes, vlogging YouTuber problems uh, Lighting when things arrive when they're not supposed to um, Okay, so this is my new box um, I haven't actually opened it yet I just wanted to tear off my address and things so um, yes if you ever do any unboxings of your own safety first always remove anything that has anything that can ever be traced back to you because safety first there are some weirdos on the internet um, and by weirdos I don't mean people who just like to collect leeches I am armed uh, before we start with obviously the box. I also have some of my trusty scissors over here which always fail to cut anything properly. Um, I also have some Poland Spring water, spring water. That's just the favorite brand that we like to use. Not sponsored by Poland Spring, but if you want to sponsor me, that's absolutely fine. Can touch. I also have two latex gloves over here. They are not powdered. They are just uh, bog standard latex. I prefer to use these for delicate creatures rather than vinyl gloves because vinyl is altogether a lot more tough um, and it's more difficult to actually feel what you're um, handling. So for any delicate creatures, I prefer to use latex rather than vinyl. So there you go. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm assuming that he or she, actually they're hermaphrodites, so it's both a he and a she, is packaged this way. This is always so difficult to do, like on camera. I, I swear I should practice, I should practice unboxings to do them with a bit more style. I feel like I'm playing a, a violin over here. See, I don't want to shake the box too much, because obviously every little movement that I do, I'm sure the leech can feel. The moment of truth. This should be interesting. All right, we have tissue paper. Oh, okay. Box. Bye bye. We have. Oh, awesome. Get 15% off. No, 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 no. Oh, lovely. Transfer your leech into a half filled jar with cold water immediately. Change leech water weekly. Okay, great. Well, I already knew that, but there we go. Let's see 
where the leech is. Are you ready? This is so exciting. Let's, let's unwrap this together. Dun dun dun. <gasps> okay. Where's my little leechy? There you are. Hello, darling. Hi. You're so cute. Look at you. He's alive. I'm so happy to see you. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Oh, you're beautiful. You're fabulous. You are a queen slash king, because I know you're a hermaphrodite, but you are just royalty. Look at you. So this is my newest leech, but this is the leech that I currently have. This tiny little itty bitty leech who's currently shedding their skin around the middle there is the current size that I'm used to, but this leech is quite a bit bigger, so how very exciting. You go over there, Dart, and look at you. Oh, you're just absolutely phenomenal. Oh my god, I'm in love. Um, leeches are hermaphrodites, so they carry both male and female sex organs. Um, so just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'm just gonna, instead of calling the leech an it, I don't like calling animals it, I'm just gonna say him. So just be aware they are actually girls and boys at the same time, but I'm just gonna call him him. He's so active, look! No doubt he wants to get out of there pretty quick, so I'm just gonna quickly set up his enclosure. And um, the enclosure he's gonna be living in is this one over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna transfer him over now, and uh, we'll see how, how he gets on. Um, if you're wondering what he's actually in with, um, it, this is actually a kind of sort of hydrating gel, um, and a lot of people give this to um, crickets to keep them hydrated, cockroaches, um, so yes, it's basically like water and cellulose. So it doesn't hurt the leech, it's good to keep their skin nice and moist, Obviously they can't travel in water because they'll just be jostled around all over the place and also with water in adverse weather it would freeze and then of course there's no oxygen in there and the leech would die. When it comes to, sorry I've got like a creak in my back, when it comes to leech enclosures it's really up to you if you want to give them something very elaborate or something simplistic and a lot of medical leeches which are, at, yes Grinchy, hi, come on, come on Grinchy, come on. Come on. Bye. <laughs> He's just leaving his enclosure. He started to come out of his enclosure and fly up to the top. Grinchy. Hi, bird. Bye then. <laughs> He's like gone. Oh, hello. Yes, you too. You've woken up too. Um, okay, so when it comes to leech enclosure setups, it's a really... Shh. I'm actually going to do a dedicated um, pet leech care video, so I'm not going to get into the reasons why I'm using this particular setup now. I'm just going to move him into his setup. But if you are interested in why I'm setting him up like this and about um, uh, filtrations and decor and things like that, then definitely look out for my leech video. It should be coming out soon. It's not out yet, but it would be out soon. That'll be on my main channel, which is just Emzotic. Um, but this is what he's going to be in today. Um, and this is just a plain glass jar. There's no filtration in there, nothing. So I'm just going to open up his lid over there and pop in some spring water. Now this is cool spring water. La, 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 la. There we go. That'll be about enough for today. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. So this is just natural spring water. So this is just natural spring water in here and it's cold. It's important that the water is cold. Not freezing, but cold. They do not like warm water. Um, so let me go get our leech. I want to just make sure that that's balanced. Move my phone. Just in case I need to use my fingers. I would just happily use my fingers because I have washed my hands. Um, but the thing is, I don't know when he was last fed. And uh, these particular leeches, although they only have to eat maybe... I think it's once every six months to a year, so they can go for, you know, a year or so without eating, but I don't know when the last it was he was fed, and if I'm going to feed him, I'd rather do it when I'm set up to do so, with towels and whatnot. So, just in case he catches my fingers, gloves. There's actually some leeches in the world who wouldn't mind biting through this, because they can actually bite through the hide of a hippo, which is pretty cool. But I just want to make sure I don't hurt him. Oh, hello, little leech. Oh yes, you've still got some of that cellulose water stuff on you. Look at him! Hello, darling. We're just gonna try and get all of this stuff off of you. Where are you going in such a hurry? Hello. Look how adorable you are. Are you hungry? I think you might be hungry. 
You're so cute. Here, let's put you straight into your water. Go on. It's nice in there. Plop. <laughs> He's like, no, that's not want. <laughs> Considering my little leech is called Dart, I think your name has to be Demi Gorgon. So we've got Dart and Demi. Hi, Dart and Demi. And you know, leeches all have their own individual personality. Some are a little bit shy to bite, and some are just like, give me all the blood. Um, oh, that's a really good point. You're probably wondering what these leeches eat. Uh, well, being medicinal leeches, they actually drink blood. They drink human blood. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I probably should have mentioned that earlier. So yeah, let me know in the comments. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about leeches in general. Have you ever had a leech on you before and what was your experience with them? Again, do look out for my leech creature feature which will have come out just before this video, maybe on like Wednesday I think it came out. Um, and then also look to the future, far away in the future, not too far actually, just in the future where I'm going to be doing a leech care video and a setup video as well so you guys can see how to treat your leeches if you guys are interested in them. Do you guys ever have really weird telling dreams which correspond with what's going on in your life because I'm, I'm a little bit freaked out by my dreams that I had last night. I had three dreams and the first dream was that I found a whole load of really rare three-headed sliders, terrapins, and they were like a mint green faded orange and pink colour um, and then I, I took an Instagram post or something, I put them on some social media, maybe it was Facebook and yeah it was Facebook and all of a sudden people started asking me for the coordinates or how much am I selling them for and I was like they should be protected, stop asking me for shipping details and things like that. I, I woke up genuinely angry and this was at about 2 or 3 in the morning I woke up and then I went back to sleep and I had two of the weirdest dreams I've ever had back to back. And the first one's the really weird one. And the first one was that I was taking out a life insurance policy. And I know that's really morbid. And yes, it's actually going to get more morbid. So hang on, let me just find my raccoon, my trash panda. Where are you? So yeah, I was taking out a life insurance policy. And they told me that in order, if, if I died, that for my family to get any compensation from my death, um, I would have to have an eco-friendly burial. So they wanted me to uh, not have a cremation, which is what I wanted in my dream. Um, instead, they wanted me to have like a sea or a water burial. And I said, no, I don't want that. They said, oh, come with us. We'll show you what it is. It's really cool. So I went with the salesman, the broker, and I ended up standing at the edge of the Hong Kong Harbour, which is so polluted. And there's a small, like, netted off section, like a square, like almost like a, a pen. And they said, that's where we'd bury your body. And then suddenly these huge crabs, like Tamatoa style crabs, came out of the water. And they tried to, to, to eat me. And the guy who was trying to sell me the policy said, this is how your body would be taken care of, how it would be disposed. And I was like... I don't want to be eaten by giant decapods, all right? Like, I'm not cool with that. And suddenly the, the guy who was in a suit, the broker, ripped open his suit and he was a giant crab in a suit. <laughs> and he tried to eat me. And his giant claw grabbed my eyeball, pulled it out and like a grape, it popped. And I remember waking up like, what? in actual world, was that? <laughs> like what is going on in my head for me to have even dreamed that? I, I just can't, I don't even know what was going on with that. Um, hence the bags under my eyes today because I genuinely did not sleep very well last night. And my last dream was like a YouTuber problems type dream, which was where I deleted a video which was making me a load of revenue and then I knew I was just going to be so screwed for the next like six months for earnings um so I was trying to undo it but then I couldn't undo it and YouTube wouldn't let me re-upload it for whatever reason and then when I tried I accidentally made a sponsored video go live before the client had actually approved it so they were angry and then they fired me. I don't even know which client this was, but they fired me in my dream. 
And then when I tried to fix that, I ended up putting up like a really horrible post to Instagram, which is just full of swear words and all sorts of just uh, words that weren't supposed to be up there, like completely uncharacteristic for me. And Instagram banned me from the platform and I woke up like, <laughs> did I upload anything? <laughs> Is my YouTube stat channel still open? Am I banned from Instagram? <laughs> and I was like freaking out and Danny was like, it's fine. You were sleeping, <laughs> yes, it's fine. You haven't been like Instagramming or anything in your sleep, thank God. But yeah, YouTuber problems. Do you, do you guys get weird dreams? I don't know, do you guys also get weird dreams? Like, leave me a comment down below if you can remember any really, really weird dreams. But only if they're like friendly enough to share. Please don't share anything too horrific um, or bad or anything. Just, yeah. Not that it's not horrific to have your eyeball torn out by a giant crab. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, and do you like my earrings that I'm wearing today? Um, let me properly show off this earring. My my hair's trying to eat my trash panda. Um, it's a raccoon, so it's like a raccoon's head and then a tail. And I actually I got this from um, a store on Etsy, and the store is called I. It's either I'm your present or I am your present. I think it's I'm your present. I'll comment them below anyway, just so you know. But yeah, this is uh, uh, from Etsy, and I absolutely love it. I'm wearing. Two of them today. I don't usually wear corresponding earrings. Usually I have like a stud and then a longer earring, but I really love these ones, so I thought I'd put two of them in. So yeah, go go and check out that store. I've actually got a couple of earrings from I'm Your Present. So yeah, go go check them out. I'll put a link down in my description box. But um yeah, you should go check them out for sure. Hashtag not sponsored. I, I legit bought these. Do you hear that wind? I am indoors and it's like the arctic tundra in here. Thankfully this is the cold animal room, so this is all the animals that quite like or can thrive in the cold, not just survive but actually thrive in the cold. So I've got the ferrets in here and I have the two doves. The two doves are actually in their nest at the moment. Let me see if I can show you where they are. Hi Voodoo, hi Presto. Whatcha cooking? These two have been courting a lot recently, so I'm hoping that they're going to have some new eggs soon. Why is my camera so bad at focusing these days? I mean, to be fair, I think I'm just really rubbish at operating this camera. Anyway, I'm hoping that the, the, the doves are going to have some more eggs soon. They had two before. Now, because Voodoo is still quite young, the female, um, it's possible that her next couple of eggs might not actually be fertile. Um, one of them was definitely not fertile, and the other one they cracked. So they don't have any eggs at the moment, but they're definitely going to try again um, and they're just going to keep producing. So um, like I said, and I think a couple of my previous vlogs or maybe a, a video, I can't remember if it was on a vlog or a video on my main channel, um, but we're going to see if we can keep one or two healthy chicks and then the rest of the eggs are going to go as food for the animals. So that's the plan for, for the doves, uh, for Voodoo and Presto. I'm going to try and top up some food and water in here for... Dobby and Niffler because they've just completely destroyed their food and water bowls. Dobby's the first one out, she's super excited. All right, like, I'm gonna give them some of their Y Song Epigen 90. So, oh my god, some food! She's like, bring me the food! Oh, I'm coming in! Ah! It's coming, it's coming. Oh, I hear Niffler, Niffler's coming too. Yes, it's coming. Look, she's trembling with excitement. There you go. Ugh. Hi, Niff. Is Niff in the... <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, Niff. He's like, oh, I can do it. Go get your food. Look at those winter pounds. Oh, Dobby. Those winter pounds. Can I just say, on the subject of Niffler, I watched the new Fantastic Beasts um, trailer. I didn't see the Niffler. Where is the Niffler? Hashtag, where is the Niffler? Dobby, Dobby, Dobby. She's still so fluffy. When these guys blow their coat in a couple of weeks' time, it's just not going to be that much fun. Look how floofy you are. Oh, hello, Niff. Where are you, uh, are you actually using your litter tray for once? How very exciting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is basically the first time since they've had a litter tray that Mr. Niffler's decided to actually use it. Danny, I, ha I have to clean in here. 
I was filming and then it, it something happened and it doesn't look clean anymore. You noticed? Are you gonna are you gonna help me clean it? No. No, but no. if you loved me. Oh, I love you. But I think it's it's a good character building exercise. <laughs> and I love you, smell good. And what else? You feel good. And what else? You look good. And what else? Uh, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna clean. I am. Did you need this? Right no. Just thinking, if you're cleaning, you might as well clean out here. <laughs> no. <laughs> By the way, I had some people message in the last video asking why this enclosure is up and what lives in there. This is a decorative enclosure and it's, it's quite fascinating. People used to keep songbirds and things like this and um, we've actually got quite a big collection of them here at home. So if you ever see any of these darted around, we've got like a massive collection of them as well as bird traps. Um, like historic bird traps and manual bird traps. Um, we don't actually use them. It's actually illegal to trap birds, especially in the US, I think, um, especially native birds. So yeah, nothing actually lives in here. This is just decorative and I think it's really pretty. So yeah, I might actually put some like vines over it at some point, but I think it's just nice for the moment. My goodness, it's really so windy. I like big butts and I cannot lie You other ferrets can't deny When a ferret walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face you get feelings I like big butts and I cannot lie You other ferrets can't deny When a ferret walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face you get feelings So yeah, at the, I've actually color coordinated everything now. So they've got two purple water troughs and then they also have the food at the back there. And actually, no, honestly, ferrets are very good at limiting themselves when it comes to food. Um, you know, once they hit their limit of, of what they want to eat, then they usually stop. You know, it's actually not that common to see a, a grossly overweight ferret. However, you do get chunky ferrets, especially in the winter. Little chunky monkey down here who's got his food down here. Hey, babe. Yes? I was cleaning under your desk and I found some turtles. Do you want to see them? Yes. <laughs> oh. I found some turtles under your desk. I didn't, uh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know about these turtles. Where'd they come from? I, I don't know, Danny. I, I, I don't recall ever seeing these original pecan with creamy caramel turtles. And I, I was dumbfounded to find them in our home. Oh, maybe you should ask Dobby and Niffler, because I don't know anything about those delicious turtles. Must have been that crow right there. So. What, I, what, uh, do, you, do, you, do you have more turtles? Are there more turtles? What? Are there more turtles? I don't know, but I like turtles. So some of you may remember that uh, on my main channel a couple of weeks ago, I was actually nominated to win the best video show of the year by The Reptile Report. Um, and thank you guys so much for voting because the Exotic Channel, all of us together, we won! This is our official best 2017 award video show of the year, Exotic. And there are two different awards. So there is the. Oh, sorry, coming through. I need to store some things over here that I need to just put up over there. Okay. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay. Come here! Yeah, I... Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come <laughs> here! Okay. Right now. Let's have a look at this. Because this is Danny's moment too, okay? So from what? Oh, 2013 and 2014. It's called pioneering. Danny, <laughs> can I just tell you something? Just like in um, Men in Black, old and busted. <laughs> New hotness. Old and busted. New hotness. I love you. Think of a witty man in black line, but I can't retort. I have to go. Wait, we're gonna fix your eyes. <laughs> Put up all your hands and all your flippers. These can be your flippers. Look. Wait, no, that's like a crest. Put it a crest. <laughs> you have to make a sound for it. Choink. 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 It's silicone based. It's You'd bad. make a lovely yeah. alien. Would I? Yeah, you would. Kit, would I make a good alien? Wait, I need I need wait. wings or something. Oh, sorry. Hold on, wait. Wait. 
You've angered her. God, the neighbors can see us, can't they? <laughs> they can see us. Hi! Hi. Hola! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's okay, I don't want you to help it. Danny! I don't actually think you're old and busted. So yeah, back to the video. In short, I was actually nominated for an award on the Reptile Report. Basically, you have to be nominated by people who watch your show for either best radio show, like Danny has won several times, twice, and then for different categories like best um, snake video or whatever. And for mine, it was just in general best video show of the year. So thank you guys so much for voting because we won this. You know, I don't see this as just like an award for me. This is all of us. And honestly, this award means so much and not not just because, you know, it's an award that means I'm recognized, but there are two different categories. So you can win either the editor's choice, so basically the editor of the Reptile Report picks, you know, whoever they like best, or there's like the reader's choice, which is basically like the people's choice. And that to me means so much more because it means that people who actually watch my show and follow the show, they have voted. And it's not just like one person saying, this is the person that I like the most. So for winning reader's choice, I, I'm just like, Yes, and I just want to give you guys a massive hug for it. So come in group hug group hug So yeah, thank you guys so much for voting and also thank you to Reptile Report as well for sending this over me. So bye Hey creatures, so Bess as you remember he um, He got quite cold during the um, The power outage we had and as a consequence he kind of hasn't had the best shed this time He's only really managed to get like maybe a quarter of his body de shed. So we've got him in the bathtub now, and Danny is very lovingly helping him with his shed. You can see all the old shed just under there. And what Danny's doing is basically just allowing Bess to move through his hands, and uh, the rest of the shed just comes off all in nice one big piece. And Bess, as you can see, is enjoying soaking in the water. Also, I'm sorry if you can't really hear me. I know we've got an extractor fan in here and it's probably pretty loud. Um, but yeah, Bess is doing really well. He doesn't have any sign of a respiratory infection, um, which I was worried about after we came out of our power outage last week. Um, it's just a stuck shed he had. And you know, he was at perfect humidity, perfect temperature the last couple of days since we've had power, but it was just that power outage which really messed with him. Oh, actually he's up near the razors. He's so big and cute. Look at him. Oh, and that's not a respiratory infection if you hear anything. That's just their natural puffiness they do when they're like, what's going on? Oh dear. <laughs> so majestic. So majestic. Yeah, I think it's important to note that if it was a respiratory infection, you would hear gurgling and bubbling. So. Yes. No, that's just like a... That's like just like, I'm a big bad best. Look at me, I'm a top predator in a bathtub. <laughs> oh, he's, shed he's shedding. He's shedding. Wow, there's a lot of shed. Yeah, cool? He's got more to go. Do you remember that, um, that beauty fad where women would get the real sheds of snakes and put it under their fingernails. So gross. There's nothing like having dead skin taped onto you. Yeah, it was pretty gross. So Danny has literally just left and I've taken over and Bess has decided to excrete that there, those white things are urates. Uh, which is lots of uric acid and if we're lucky we might even get a poo now Let me just move this over Okay, so as predicted Bess did indeed decide to poo um, I'm just gonna give you guys a bit of a warning because this is a bit of a 
uh, a graphic poop. <laughs> so what I mean by that is that Bess was straining quite hard and he has a little bit of an anal prolapse. So yeah, um, it goes back and it's uh, not painful for him and it's not a complication, but this can sometimes happen. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys a warning that there is a little bit of a prolapse plus a poop. Um, it, it lasts for about a minute, so you might want to skip ahead if you do not want to see that. Like seriously, you actually might want to skip ahead. Don't be eating. Don't watch this while eating, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks, Bess. 